Hello, Beat from the Plush here, back with another video. Today, we finally have my 2023 FNAF and Collectibles Room Tour. So, before we get before we start into this video, this has been collected for the past seven plus years. So, because I started coll hardcore collecting in 2017, not 2017, 2016 when the first FNAF merch came out. My first ever pieces of FNAF merch were the Chica action figure and the Freddy action figure. But swap those and swap those around and that was my first two. I got Freddy first. And then I got Chica. Then I got the final three after Foxy. But yeah, I've been collecting for roughly seven years or eight years. I'm not sure. It's been a while. <laughs> I don't keep track of the dates that much, so yeah. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's just get into it. Because I have a lot of stuff, and I want to show it all to you. Because, like, you guys can give me a lot of motivation to keep continuing. Even though 2022 was a rough year, let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to go to the closest bookshelf to my door. We're going from black lights and glow in the darks to all the way to FNAF sister location. Then we're going to the Spring Colorway to Curse of Dreadbear. Okay, we're basically going left to right. Then we're going to go to my desk. Desk, the bigger desk. Then we're going to move over here. Then over here. Then over here. I should also mention this is no way of me intending to flex, honestly. Because, like, I don't want to flex in front of you guys. This is just me documenting my collection. Um, I am very thankful for, like, getting all these merchandise. All this merchandise. I'm very grateful for it. Sorry if I don't sound enthusiastic as usual. I'm. It's, like, 6 a.m. at this time of recording. And I only got three hours of sleep. But other than that, let's get into it. Alright, so starting off with the Blacklight section, we have Blacklight Freddy, Bo Freddy, Foxy, 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 then a cupcake in different colors. I'm not going to go over all the plushies. I mean, these are pretty rare nowadays, all the Blacklight merchandise, especially the minis. The minis are probably the hardest things to find, especially in my collection. It's a cupcake because he's 1 out of 36. The rest of these are 1 out of 12s. Springtrap got more rare over time. And yeah, and you have a t Hot Topic and Walmart exclusives from Wave 1, Glow in the Dark Freddy, and Glow in the Dark Toy Chica. Then we have the re-release of Glow in the Dark Toy Freddy, and just Glow in the Dark Toy Bonnie. And the Blacklight Slimes, probably wasted money on the, probably wasted money on those, but like, still it looks okay in the collection. Alright, FNAF 1. We have, I'm just gonna call out the standouts, or the new additions. So we have the action figures, all of them. That are FNAF 1 related. Not all the re-releases. I'm missing Golden Freddy. I do have the others in the tote. I just don't want to get them out at the moment. Then we have all of Wave 1. Well, the FNAF 1 animatronics. Including Shadow Freddy. Chica's back there. Trust me. She is like right there. We have the U2's Bonnie. The animatronic Freddy plushie. And the reversible heads. You'll see Foxy later. The My Mojis and the Pint Size Heroes. Then down here we have some some dog tags. Then we have the mystery minis up to Golden Freddy. Even though he's a mix of FNAF 1 and 2, I put him in FNAF 1 because he was this is inspired off of FNAF 1. Sorry that I'm stuttering so much. It's been a while since I recorded since the last up upload. Honestly, it's been like two to three days. I lose my voice after so long. But yeah, we have the U2s right here. Gen 2 Sanshi plushies with Sanshi Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. Foxy looks the most like his original counterpart. Then we have probably the worst FNAF merch ever made, the Popsies. I mean, they're alright. They're not my favorite at all, honestly. They're far from my favorite. You have the Hero World, which I actually do like. These are really underrated. Then we have the Foxy. Funko Racers, which is another great item from Funko. 
We had the FNAF 1 minifigures. These are really awesome. I really wish they kept making these because these were so good, honestly. These were so, so amazing. Unfortunately, on the bottom of most, some of mine, they have glue, but, like, it's, you can barely tell, and, then, like, you never, but you're not going to see them from their, you know, bottoms. You're going to see them from the front, so, yeah. All right, next off, we have is FNAF 2. So, we have the Toy Chica dog tag, a Foxy pin I got from Hot Topic, and these pins from Chloe's Cove from her Mercari score, store. Sorry, Mercari store. I bought all those in a bundle with Jacko Chica from the UCC Distributing or Fat Mojo. I don't really remember which one is which at this point because it's like a sister company at this point or something like that. I can't tell. But yeah, it's something like that. I got, you know, you see the ones I got. Then over here we have all the FNAF 2 plushies. I have all of them. I'm con I'm considering Toy Foxy as a FNAF 2 animatronic slash Funtime Foxy. Whatever you want to call her. Because this one is a variant that leads into Mangle. Then it's Phantom Mangle and all that. It's based off... I'm pretty sure this is based off her FNAF World design. Like we used for her action figure. Because this is like wave one and a half because this did come out later from what I've heard and stuff. It's been a while. I'm like a FNAF historian, but I don't remember anything because it's been like forever. Honestly, my brain has kind of went numb, basically. But yeah, we have some... I can name out the grills. We have Balloon Boy, Mangle, Toy Freddy. He's a rare one. And Toy Bonnie. Then we have... the. All the minifigures and mystery minis and all that. And the Funko Racers. Hero World. The really rare Paper Pals. And then Shadow Bonnie. I'm not going to say his full name. And another Shadow Bonnie. I'm debating if I should put him in FNAF Freer, Freer 2. I mean, he originated in FNAF 2. But it was this variant. This one came in FNAF 3. But like FNAF 3 and 4 is getting overflowing at the moment. Alright, going down one, we have FNAF 3 and 4. I'm not going to name all of these off, because these are a lot, to, a lot to go over. But we do have the Nightmare Bonnie tagged Toys R Us exclusive. Uh, the tag is a little bent, but it's still the Toys R Us exclusive. You can see it's not coming off. Yeah, this is staying on here. I got rid of my original, not original, but like my, yeah, my first Nightmare Bonnie. This was one that I got from eBay for like $50, $32. I'm not complaining because this is like a really rare tag nowadays. And it's in really good condition too, for the most part. And I want to give a huge shout out to MCU Funko Collector on Instagram. Uh, I'm not sure if he quit or not, but like he, he's the one who sold me the Nightmare Mangle for pretty cheap. I only paid like roughly 90 for her or them. I don't know. But like, yeah, really good mystery mini. Really great purchase of mine. Really great purchase. I'm very thankful that he offered to sell it for, to me. Because, like, without him, I wouldn't have Nightmare Mango. And I would have had to spend, like, 250 plus for her. Then over here we have Springtrap. The Nightmares. Nightmare himself. Nightmarian. Fredbear plush. Some Hero Worlds. Action figures. Which is, this is the original waves of all of them. None of them are re-releases. And then we have Nightmarian as an action figure. Sorry about it. There's, sorry about that. You have Phantom Balloon Boy up here too. All right, down to sister location. My originally most hated way, but that has changed the spring colorway, honestly. Back in 2017 or 2018 when this wave released, I hated it with a passion. For some parts, but now looking back at it, it really wasn't a bad wave. I mean, sure, there was printing errors, and the printing wasn't too, too thick. But it has been fixed over time, so I'd say this is a win wave, honestly. Plus, you got unique molds for Circus Baby and Ballora entered Bonnet, for the most part. All these have unique molds. Of course, Funtime Freddy's kind of, you know, bad, but he's, like, he's still, like, Funtime Freddy. You can barely recognize him that he's fun time freddy but he's still fun time freddy sorry but yeah then you have the action figures right here with the really rare exclusive little bit from walgreens that i bought on ebay for roughly two hundred dollars 
I think I paid like 185 at most. Then I have the sandpaper scratchy version of a glow in the dark baby. Circus baby, whatever you want to call her. Then I have her original counterpart. Yeah, my, my, I'm um, not original, but like my glow in the dark one, her head is really, really loose. So like it's popping off really easily. And then we have Jump Scare Entered, two Funko Racers, all the minis, including Dark Springtrap, Lulbit, some Pine Sized Heroes, Jump Scare Ballora and the Butters. I finally put her in the Butters along with original Ballora. Blue Freddy, Pink Freddy, Blue Foxy, Purple Foxy, Green Foxy, and Green Cupcake. That's literally all that there is on here. Nothing much besides, you know, the black lights essentially. Just in a lighter pastel color. Alright, next up we have the Twisted Ones. Unfortunately, my Fedora is coming a little bit loose because a Fred has not went loose. And his bow tie, I didn't check this in store, but his bow tie is coming off too, which is bad, honestly. Oh, God, but I don't want to slip. Um, sorry about that. Um, we have Twisted Freddy, Twisted Bonnie, Twisted Chica, Twisted Foxy, Twisted Wolf, Stanley the Unicorn, and Fyodor. Then all the mystery minis, for the most part. I'm missing Stanley the Unicorn. And Ella. Those are 1 out of 72s. Those are one of the hardest ones to find. Stanley, by himself, costs like $350. And Ella costs like roughly 72 to 100 But other than that, that's basically it for Twisted Ones. Then I have a fetch coin right here. Not coin. Fetch pin right here. A broken Monty when I got out of box, his eye his sunglasses were, you know, messed up when I got him out of box. Metallic Glamrock Freddy. I think these are re-releases or original. I gotta check. I really don't know which one this one is. I think this is like original Happy Frog and original Helpy. I meant Lefty, sorry. The GameStop exclusive Theodore. Heating it up, we have Pizzeria Simulator, one of Funko's best waves, by far. I ha I really haven't seen much top this before. Besides FNAF AR, but like that's mainly recolors for the most part and add ons. I'd say this is good as FNAF 1 wave, honestly, but a little bit like lack. I mean, it's really good. I wouldn't say it's lackluster. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's a really good wave. Sure, there's some oddballs here and there with Foxy and, you know, L Chip, and there's not really that much. And we mainly got the Mediocres and two rock stars. This wave was never completed. Even though they're, it was perfect for a wave too, it's just like it was never completed by Funko themselves. But yeah, we have Molten Freddy, Molten Freddy, Lefty, and Scrap Baby. Then we have all the minis so far. We have the GameStop exclusive, Scrap Circus Baby, and Candy Cadet. And Molten Freddy over here, we have the Rock Stars, Mediocre, some are Target exclusives like. Ned Bear and the Data Archive Egg Baby. Lefty is a retail exclusive. And then there's Orville just chilling over here because he's like his trunk is too big. Going down to the second half of Pizzeria Simulator, we mainly have exclusives with Happy Frog, Mr. Hippo, Candy Cadet, and the Security Puppet. These two are Hot Topic exclusives. Candy Cadet's pretty rare nowadays. Same with the Security Puppet. Same with FNAF. Not FNAF. Mr. Hippo and Happy Frog. I sadly only have like one extra frog. Mr. Hippo's, but I don't have any other Happy Frogs. But yeah, here is the Glow in the Dark Minis. I don't have much. I'm still working on completing this wave. It's just been a long time. It's just been a while since like... I'm on limited funds, honestly. Getting ready for spooky season. We have Curse of Dreadbear. We have Jacko Bonnie and Jacko Chica. Jacko Bonnie is a Walmart exclusive. We have Glitch Trap, Dreadbear, Jacko Bonnie, ja GameStop exclusive Jacko Chica, Grim Foxy, Walmart exclusive Captain Foxy. Mini Dreadbear. You obviously know what it is because the tag. Captain Foxy Walmart. These are rest of, rest of these are commons. Dreadbear through Grim Foxy are commons. Yeah, these, this wave looks pretty good, honestly. 
All right, so down here, I, over here in this bi these binders, I have Lego instructions. That's why it looks so thick, honestly. I'm still working on those. I might use something else. I'm not sure yet. And we have some Lego sets that I have not put away yet. We have the Fetz Dust, I hope. But, like, we have a Jungle Raider, Boulder Blaster, Final Flight of Destiny's Bounty, the Ninjago Movie Brickheads, and then Kai's Mini 4 Plus Fire Dragon. Next next section here is just more of, like, you know, miscellaneous and stuff like that. Like, the Buildable Boris figure, my Grail Funko Pops, Pokemon cards that are Grails. I'm not going to go through that, but it might be its own separate video. We have the FNAF Pop Pez. Which I need to get the single packs. I have the Roy, which is a really rare one now. And Rosalina. from I got Rosalina from Walmart out of pure luck, honestly. I looked behind the Pokemon card section and I found it. Then Roy, I found it at a GameStop. Wasn't expecting him to be this much, honestly. He's like 50 plus now. Roy the boy. Sorry. But yeah, we have... The McFarlane sets for FNAF 1 for the most part. I have to build the West Hall. Because that's the last one I need to build. I got, I got, the, this is brand new one. I got this one for Christmas. As like part of my money that I get every so, every year so often. But we have the control module. I missed out on the original one. So this one was a third party one. Not third party. Second like, it's a real copy, it's just like, there's some substitute pieces here and there, like a few Lego parts, like right here, for example, maybe. And there's some light gray pieces in here that's Lego. But other than that, it's, you can barely tell, it's, you know, there's Lego parts in here, maybe besides right here. But other than that, it's, you know, pretty much complete, honestly. Like, you got all the figures and stuff, got all the decorations, I'd say it's good. Then you have Golden Freddy over here. I just recently rebuilt this. Got my Funko sodas over here. Venom and Carnage. We got the West Hall minifigures. We have my favorite Ben 10 Alien. Ghost Free and a card protector. These are really, really premium. They're from Ultra Pro. And then I got this Regal VX. I got this in unboxing. Not much of you, much of not, not much of y'all like Pokemon, so like I'm probably not gonna do more Pokemon videos. Maybe I might, but I'm not sure yet. All right, next off we have is the West Hall, the boxes for FNAF One U2s, the Golden Freddy McFarlane set, the Wither Chiga McFarlane set with the backstage, Withered Foxy, not Wither Foxy. Original Foxy, reversible heads. I'm planning to get doubles so I can, like, you know, keep one as Nightmare, one as the original. Bootleg Shadow Bonnie. Yes, I know this is a bootleg. I only have it because I was doing a comparison video with it, so I like, keep it in my collection because, you know, I, I, I did it. that video did pretty well, and, you know, I got more people, you know, to, you know, view my channel, and it's also, you know, helped spread awareness sorry i'm not a really good talker honestly but yeah we have the golden freddy mock i made back in 2020 we have more mcfarlane sets these are pretty much grills at this point because all these sets are super super rare nowadays have the mini office i guess you could say right here fnaf 3 for the most part fnaf 2 and then fnaf 4 so down here we have the Golden Freddy Snap Set, and then Tells from the Pizza Plex, Fazbear Frights, the Freddy Files, Security Logbook, and the Charlie Trilogy Visual Novel, not Visual Novel, Graphic Novel, and then the books, like the hardcore books, and the graphic novels. I'm only interested in the graphic novels, it's like I don't like reading honestly, I'd rather have pictures because you know. Pictures are like, pictures speak louder than words, I'd say. Alright, so, I'm, I was being too loud before, but like, we have my FNAF AR mini boxes. These are all the ones I opened. I'm probably going to get rid of some of these, because this is just way too much in here, honestly. We have my McFarlane figures, and part of a music box, I hope. Yeah, it's part of a music box. Some flashlights and all that. 
You have Nightmarian set for Nightmare Chica. Just going to give one quick overview of that. Then we ended off with Sister Location for now. With Funtime Freddy and Funtime Foxy, we have two craftables with Monty and Roxy. We have the black lights and the original backpack hangers. These are really underrated. I mean, these were really, really good, honestly. Never really expensive because no one bought them, including myself. And I'm going to have to pay a fortune for Golden Freddy, but whatever. Down here, we have my open Funko Pops. As you may know, before in the past, I have ripped a Funko Pop box. I regret it to this day. I should have just bought these out of box so I don't have to worry about replacing them. Now I'm doing the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. I have to replace all of these or replace their boxes. And like find stickers to put them on there maybe. I don't know. I would just, you know, buy it. Or I can get the special edition sticker. I'm not sure yet. But like, yeah. You, what you see is what you get. Yeah, it's a lot. It's like worth over $500 what I opened. And I'm still replacing it to this day. Because like, I don't want to a ruin to come out. And like the prices spike up like crazy again. Down here is my miscellaneous indie game section. This used to be a Lego shelf. As you can see right there, we have some Lego sets. But we have some Bendy and the Ink Machine. Showdown Bandit. Cuphead. Then just ven venomized characters chilling in here, and Fortnite, and Pokemon, and Baldi. Then on the bottom of the shelf is just key keychains for the time being until like, I find something else to do with them. So this is for a Christmas haul. I'm just going to show one off. Then we have Wivered Bunny with the Paper Pals Party. Really cool set, I, I must admit. This one's one of my favorites. I lost Freddy, unfortunately. In the background for the Paper Pals. Then we have my... Fanverse U2s right here. Lego minifigures. Okay, I don't think this shows anything revealing, but over here is like, you know, my desk. This is where I edit. This is where I make thumbnails. This is where I do a lot of stuff. Watch videos sometimes when I don't want to watch the ads. I'm not going to explain what I use. But yeah. We have Kai Kai's Mic Rider Evo. Mech Rider Evo, sorry. I need a drink. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I'm back. I got a drink. So we have candy and pop goes right here. These are sealed in bag variants. I might be selling these. I'm not sure yet. We have my Lego Ninjago Zane minifigures. Some packaging for FNAF products. Oh crap. This is on my artist print from Lego. Crap. I gotta put this on display somehow. Oh man, I creased it, I think. I don't know. I hope not. Too badly. Yeah, I'm going to try to get this framed. I don't know exa exact proportions. But yeah, I'm going to try to get this framed because, like, I love Ninjago. I love FNAF, and I really want to keep this on display somewhere. Of course, LEGO is too overwhelming to display, so I had to put some away. I might have to dismantle sets. I'm not sure yet. As I said before, this was previously a LEGO shelf, but we have the Ninja Dojo Training. The Water Dragon and the Sub Speeder. Then we have my Black Lights and Security Beach Black Light section. And the Advent Calendar from FNAF 2021. Two years ago already. That's crazy, honestly. Well, roughly a year and a half, I would say. Or a year. But yeah, that's nuts. But yeah. Really nice merchandise. Getting on to the Gamer Zone, we have FNAF AR. I'm only saying, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we have FNAF AR with, you know, I'm going to call out the standouts. We have Arctic Ballora, Livewire Freddy, Toxic Springtrap, Blackheart Bonnie, and Heartsick Circus Baby. And then Frostbite Balloon Boy, which hasn't released in the U.S. The plushie hasn't, but I'm on the lookout for it. Then we have the Pop, Pocket Pop, sorry. <laughs> Pocket Pops, the plushies, Walmart exclusive live wire, Freddy. Down here is Tie Dye and Fanverse, because like they were re released at the roughly the same time. Tie Dye was after the Fanverse for the most part. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get a um a spring tie dye spring trap very soon. 
hopefully by the hopefully by May, because I'm buying one from one of my good buddies. I'll give him a shout out once I get the product. But yeah, getting him for a really good deal. So we have like you know just the core set at the moment, no exclusives. Then we have the Fanverse, all GameStop exclusives with Pop Goes Candy and Blake. Then we have Freddy Pocket Pop and Bonnie Pocket Pop. Then down here we have FNAF AR again. This one is the exclusives plus some holiday ones and some sweet treats like, you know, Candy Freddy, Shortcake Bonnie, and Chocolate Chica. Then we have Liberty Chica, I'm going to call it the standouts, Candy Freddy. Freddy Frostbear, because he started this rabbit hole that Funko's going down, and just probably the worst FNAF AR action figure ever is Shamrock Freddy. He's supposed to be fully metallic green, not this crappy green color. Okay, so we're almost done. Lego sets, Funko Pops, I still need to, like, you know, showcase, or, you know, review, or something like that. I'm not entirely sure yet, but, like, that's something I need to do. Oh yeah, it's for a haul video too, so I'm going to do a haul video, then I'm going to do like a, uh, you know, unbox, review, once I get more FNAF pops from, but more 2023, I will be opening three of them, doing a part one and a part two, or just doing them all at once, I'm not sure yet. Up here we have my FNAF statues from FNAF Security Breach, we have Vanny and Vanessa, Glamrock Freddy and Gregory, sorry, I keep forgetting his name for some reason. But then we have FNAF pins with FNAF AR, Sweet sweet Delivery or something like that, then Home Invasion. Then down here, we had the FNAF Security Breach, Action Figures, Plushies, Monty Plush, Vanny Plush, the U2s, the base set of U2s, the common set, then I have to get Vanny soon, really, really soon, because she's going to be really rare and hard to find. She's already worth 150 on the aftermarket if you don't buy the bundle, so I got to get on that ASAP. All right, down here is non-FNAF. So we have all my Ben 10 action figures that are reboot and bigger than six inches. Wait, no, bigger than four inches or three inches. So this is all the reboot action figures I own, the Wacky Wobblers. Shout out to Pop Freak. Then we have Vilgax, Hyper Alien, the Hybrid Hyper Alien, and the Scare Hype, not Hyper Alien, but DNA Alien. Then down here is Bandai, Funko, and other miscellaneous Ben 10 action figures. I might go over this in its own video. I'm not sure yet. Probably not. But, like, this is what you see is what you get, basically. We do have some McDonald's toys figures in here. A lot. Some of these were really expensive, like Albedo and Ghost Freak. But every, some of these were really cheap and stuff like that because Ben 10 wasn't doing too well at the time. I do want to call out this, though. I did get the Ben 10 Funko Soda and Chase. I bought the Chase on Mercari. I'm not going to gamble with how much I have to buy in order to get him. So what I did was I bought I bought four or five bins from Smy World and bought Heat Blast on Mercari. So I'd say that's an absolute win, honestly. I mean... Like, I think it was only four Ben Tennyson's, and all of them became Ben Tennyson's, so yeah. Now, Beto I got from the UK. He's a UK exclusive. Down here is some Lego sets. I'm not going to go over that. Down here is Lego Customs, official figures and all that. And Lego display cases and mini brands. Different, many different brands, sorry. We have the Cut Room Copper Hinge. KKU with these big cases and like I don't know what this brand is called. I, I'm just gonna call it Model Miniatures Display Case for Lego for minifigures. Okay, so we're almost done. So over here we have FNAF Jumbos. I'm not gonna go over that because you can, what you see is what you get. Then we have the bootleg question mark. I don't know. People are telling me that's real. Some people are telling me that it's fake. I cannot tell at this point, honestly. I genuinely cannot tell, honestly. Like, the quality doesn't match Funko's for the most part. And I'm pretty sure the re-releases would not be like... Would be more like the, you know, like... 2018 style. Which were which had very stiff joints. But I'm not sure, honestly. 
because I'm not from the UK. But yeah, we have Tie-Dye Freddy, Tie-Dye Foxy, Hel Jumbo Helpy, and then Rockstar Freddy, Lefty, Vanny, Spring Colorway Vanny, and then Jago City Gardens, which I never got to build, finish building. My deodorant, cleaning supplies, and all that other stuff. Funko Pops. Animation 2, Funko Pops. Down here it's hard to get to, so that's why it's a mess. Five Nights at Freddy's Funko Pops. I'm on the verge of completing all the ones I destroyed and getting new ones. Alright, sorry about the camera quality, but we have 6 inch Funko Pops over here. With some instructions. Ninjago DVD Hands of Time, one of my favorite seasons. Overhated, in my opinion. Then down one, we have all the Marvel superheroes. And at the very, very bottom, it's miscellaneous Funko Pops. I'm going to put my um, Godzilla Funko Pops and like other stuff like that down there, honestly. Because like I can't really access these, honestly. So, yeah. Let's just move on to the Lego shelf. Then we'll con conclude it. Alright, Lego shelf. So, some of this stuff has fallen down because I had to put this on this. I had to put this around here. But we have Crystallized. Crystallized with the Crystal Kings. Master of the Mountain, Prime Empire, Legacy, and Seabound for the most part. Really phenomenal sets. I just it just sucks I can't like display them all because like I don't have the space and I don't want to keep them in storage with them breaking and stuff. So I'm gonna think of a plan B to keep them like safe and stuff. But yeah, let's move on to the one of the last shelf. All right, last shelf. We have the FNAF AR group poster. We have all my sealed Benton action figures. I have two of Heat Blast and Diamond Head. Not the out of the Omnitrix, just a common Diamond Head. One of Stinkfly, which I need to get another one of. One of Accelerate. I have him, so I'm not going to open this one. Found these at Five Below. Really good investments, if you ask me. But, like, you know, some of these are $20, $25 at the moment, like Stinkfly, for example, depending on the box condition. Some FNAF stuff right here, and some games, a cup for painting and stuff. My FNAF sister location bag, which and over here we have a 2022 or 2021 re-release. Blacklight Freddy. It says 2017, but it's a re-release, trust me. Source, trust me, bro. Then we have the Overlord Dragon, the GOAT. Phew! That was a long one. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm very grateful for everyone who has stuck around. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Sorry about this one's like, you know, kind of rushed here and there. But like, dude, this room is massive. I got so much merchandise. I'm already out of breath again. So like, just please subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And yeah, bye. Yeah.